What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and Philly while we sit to talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that's we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerd gas speaking of the bottom of the steps hey yo uh listen okay so we got the news we was excited for it paramount plus said that on november 22nd we're going to release good burger 2 and i was like I I enjoyed the first Good Burger movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I want to make some people upset. Kenny and Kel is not my favorite duo. I know it's a lot of people's favorite duo. It's a lot of people, you know, people love all that. I like all that also. It just was not my favorite duo. Stuff like that. And the Kenny and Kel show was good. I just wasn't. It was like, okay, it's all oh, here it goes. Okay, I got it. Haha. <laughs> but it, wow. It, I, I, Kenny and Kel it just. <laughs> It's just one like that, but That's I enjoy. Crazy. But I did enjoy Good Burger. I do. I I I am a fan of Kenan Thompson. There are times I am a fan of Kel Mitchell. But I was like, okay, you know, say there are times. <laughs> and, <laughs> Sorry. And uh, I was like, we gonna go in here and check out this movie. It was just me and Lady Sketch. We sat down there. I said because we can appreciate it because we we grew up with the original Good Burger. Mm-hmm. I remember That's when Good Burger came. Up there. Oh my god! What you say? That's why you messed up there. That's not why I messed up. That is though. It, that's that's not no, though. It's it's not why we messed up. It. I mean, that's I meant to say that's not though. No, no, because I I I'm I'm gonna tell you this right now. For some, we have kids. Okay, watching this with our son, he would have been into it because you know what? He ended up watching it by himself. I told you that. But he wasn't a fan of he it. He wasn't into it. It doesn't matter. Okay, look, look, listen, listen, listen. I, no, I'm I'm trying to find out what it don't matter about. What don't matter? Because uh, I'm just gonna say, um, you know, just just just, just being honest, this movie was not made for. It was made for like, how can I put this? People that watch Nickelodeon now, because it was like more for like younger people with the older actors, kind of like other sequels do. So it's 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 weird because it's like you doing a sequel, you bring in the two original people back, and like that's your nostalgia for the older people, but everything else is your younger audience. But here's the th- here's the problem though. If you gonna name it Good Burger Two, you are clearly trying to pull from some kind of nostalgia. So there is the the millennials, the core millennials in your audience. That's us. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna come for Keenan and Kill. And the yes. rest of the content was meant for our son, and none of the yeah. three of us liked it. But hey, 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 here's the thing, because I'm not gonna sit here and say that you know I was like, oh damn, Good Burger Two. I'm not gonna watch that. I, I am gonna watch it because it was Good Burger Two. Mm-hmm. I was. I'm not. I'm not even gonna hold hold that against it. Here's my thing with it though. It's lined up like the Nickelodeon shows, which my son does watch. Mm-hmm. You know, and I've been sitting there with him as he has grown up, and I have gone from all the iCarlys to these Dundermans. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though you know being a part of the process, I I just don't understand the the Nick sh- shows and the TikTok shows, or whatever, and they comedy is so weird. I, it's just yeah, I I, I yeah I, I I understand a lot of I, why is it's not liked. I, I understand that it's not for me. Yeah. Even Game Shakers with Kel Mitchell's on. It's, it's called Game Shakers, right? Yeah, Game Shakers. Yeah. I understand that. That, that show is not canon. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I understand that that stuff is not for me. I understand that. I have lived with that. Good Burger is for me. Was for me. And even if you go with the new formula, that's, a, that's, the, that's one of the biggest things when you have a sequel that's coming out 25 years too late. When you when you gotta go for the formula of what the formula is now, mm-hmm. 
Fine, I, I'm cool with that. Even even the, the simple plot, I'm fine with it. I laughed at some of Keenan stuff. Like, you know, the, you know, the uh, what was it, with the fire be going? The Never Burn. Oh, uh, the Never Burn. Something burn like that. Something. Yeah. And Burn Shot, I was just like, okay, cool. Because that's who his character was. It just, I even back in the original, I can't swallow it. Pause, pause, pause. Because. <laughs> you want to put a pause on that, brother? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Pause, 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 pause. Yeah, that is crazy, yeah, yeah. but I'll let you go, pause. Listen, I don't know to... Listen. You know I don't see it. You know I don't see it, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know I don't subscribe to the pause. Yeah. But that one was pause. pretty steep. Okay, okay. That was, right. that right. was a big <laughs> ask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, listen. please go, just go, just go. Okay, listen. <laughs> The whole Kel physical comedy, I just, I'm not a fan of that. It's not comedy. your cup of tea? It's not my cup of tea. There we go. That's a personal <laughs> thing. That's not a thing. It's just, it's the, a, stupid comedy does not make me laugh. I understand it more. And you weren't a, a fan yeah, of Pearman Man, 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 I'm, man, I'm, not, man. I'm not a fan of Pearman Man, man. I'm not a fan of anything that, that fucking Damon Wayne's did on In Living Color, <sighs> except for some. <laughs> or, or, uh, or, um, the other one, Marlon. But yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Marlon. Oh God, yeah. No. Junior from My Wife and Kids. Oh God. The, the, he it, was listen. I even I had to say listen. I yeah. I can get with some dumb comedy, but when y'all start making them dumber and dumber, I yeah. I can't take because it because they're like that's that's funny, and I'm like it's, it's not. not it's not not when this man got kids. Multiple. You know, mo multiple. I'm like okay and. I'm like, okay, and Roxanne is not even, you know, baby mom, like, like, like the, 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 the trail of tease and everything like that. But I'm like, okay, so just, just real quick, Keenan is almost like a snake oil salesman. But I'm saying, oh, but, for, not almost. Yeah. He is. And he, he, he has his new product, ends up burning his house, and has nowhere to go, but he has to go back to his best friend, Ed. Ed now owns Good Burger. He owns the franchise, he sold the sauce, he got the money. What and that? that's the kind of shit that pisses me off. What? I'm sorry. When it's just like, as much as I want to say that this is not realistic, yeah, it's some real dumb motherfuckers out here mm -hmm. making buku dollars. Seriously, because they're in the right place at the right time. time. Lorel wants to set up. He, he wants to buy a good burger, and make it seem like he wants to franchise it, but he really just wants to, you know, tear it down so, to, so he can replace everything with computer stuff. That's what goes on today. Side note, Lorel. Is trying to pay for that wedding. This man is racking up the checks this year. Yeah. <laughs> he been in fifty eleven films. Look, he he first of all, first of all, I know Little Girl got a son, I'm, I maybe a daughter, but his 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 wife she got like five kids. The the fiance, yeah, I think that her kids aren't kids in show business or something like that. Like they two are. Two of them are. Um, yeah, I, I I know two of them. They are. Uh, it was in. They were in Keenan's show, actually. It was his daughters. Yeah. But the other ones, I don't know. I think they grow. They more grow. But. So, I, I, it's a simple plot. Mm hmm I'm fine the with that. The same stuff. It's the you same stuff. It's, I'm fine with that. But I just, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me anymore. And even, I don't think it did it for you for the first time. The, the first time and, it, and this made me a little bad the first time. I was like, you know, I was like, okay, so what made me? And I had to actually to, 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 to think about this. What made me like the first Good Burger? Maybe because at, at that time I could accept it because I was I close to that was, age. Maybe it was peer pressure or something. Because no, you, really, you really, you really, you was ripping into think, it. I don't know because like, Ed is just like, to me, Ed is one of those kids where you. He don't like some people like his his is almost I don't really like him but it is one of those well he say something you gotta just shake your hands like okay whatever like in most of the situations I'm keen and looking at him like what <laughs> and then just just go about your business you know but it it's but, like yeah. th th there were certain moments in in the movie I was like you can still be Ed mature a little bit it's kind of like you know when when, when you know she blew up his good burger with Bill he was just like oh you evil woman like he felt that. 
I was like, okay. I, I, that little, they they tried to give him a little moment with the, the control room thing. Exactly, but it's the same shit from the first one. Yes. It's the, it's the, it's the same thing, right? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, it's like, okay, hey, guess what, y'all? He's dumb, but at times, he can be really, really smart. But yeah. say, he's so smart, it makes him seem same dumb. Shit. And I'm like, oh, God, no. No, they ain't working for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> They were. I'm just. It, it, I was just like, okay, fine. If you still want to keep some of the dumb Ed isms, but the, but there was two things that really pissed me off. Oh God. What George Clinton nostrils? No. <laughs> uh, that made me. That upset. part did like, piss nah. me off. That bring good burger like, back. Yeah. Nah, oh, you, okay. You know. Okay. You, you could have. Uh, Honestly, I thought it was actually kind of creative because it, it's actually making fun of I what know. happened. Like, so I know. Like I know, but I was fun. just like, y'all, please. I, I I told you what pissed me off about that. Nisi trying to pit pass herself off as a, a contemporary star instead of just coming back and reprising her role. Yeah, they like, didn't ask her to come back. <laughs> I was like, "You said they didn't ask her to come back." Be, no, they didn't. So why did y'all ask her to do that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was like, okay, you because know, they felt bad that she that she wasn't in it, so then they asked her last minute to do a video. Oh lord, Let's see. because <laughs> let's be let's just be let's just be. In a, in a sequel, when you have somebody together, they would have had to quote unquote be together, and Keena didn't want to. Keena didn't want to do that. Oh, I mean, you not he not wrong. He didn't want to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm with her. Yeah. They yeah. even spun the block in um, Unrelated, but in Raven's home, she got kids with old boy. They yeah. not together, but still. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Fucking pancakes in the bathroom. And he had the maple oh, syrup. Man. I was like, I, was like, I can't do this. And him <laughs> taking the toilet plunger in that strawberry shake and plunging it out. That pissed you off? That pissed me off bad. Um, my man, them, get my man out the freezer and him still being alive. I wasn't too bad about it because it was a cameo. It was like, oh. we got to fit him in here somewhere, right? That's, that's what it was. Oh. It, it, it was could have just been a regular, I feel like he could have just been a regular employee. Absolutely. Or oh, he could have replaced yeah. the, as the old guy. He could have. He could have did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The twins was as dry as, you know what I'm saying, as, 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 as chicken bread. I didn't understand. I don't think, I don't, they, they usually, um, I think they usually are used to acting like, not to be mean, but in creepy roles because they're twins. So like, they used to doing like the hi, welcome to source. Like they used to doing like creepy acting. The dry. Yeah. Are they from something? I've never seen them before, but like, are I, 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 yeah, I think they're. In, I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's something where they got a pretty like creepy character strips. Okay. Or, cre- or or creepy twins, like they look at you weird. They walk to you with a funny, like you know, yeah. twins you wouldn't want to see in the dark. Or come towards <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all could have had them throw, throw through them in and did a little coming to America type cameo and kept it moving. We ain't need to. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not asking for Ed to be this mature guy over the years. That's not what makes Ed Ed. But there's just some things. That was just too much. Yeah, it was just, it was just now, like, like the, the, not having the all these kids. The part where he was doing the. Uh, what did he. The, uh, the, the interview, I was like, all right, just a little, all right, seems, seems not needed. The what? When he was giving Ken the interview, and he was like, I'm going to pretend to be Mr. Jensen, oh, and you God. pretend to be you. I was like, oh, okay, that's a little, <laughs> all right. This, this is a little much, and once again, I, I was like, I can see where I guess Ken's character has growth somewhat, not really. He's really the same kind of dude. Yeah. But he just, it's, it's like, you know. But he became an adult at some point. Yeah, it, exactly. Ed never became an adult. He, he, he just proved Ed never became an adult and is doing adult things. That kind of bothers me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, that, I didn't, Folks that, be out here. Buku dollars, whole families. That, he doing, he's an adult. They got him doing adult things and he is not an adult. At least have, doesn't behave. It, it, it's like, I mean, bro, fine, have one kid. You ain't this stupid having nine, ten kids. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because we encounter people every day who are just... God did not smile on them. And they keep having babies. <laughs> we not going to pretend like that does not happen. You're right. Yeah, notice, uh, 
those some of them was his real kids in there. Some of them was uh, real real kids too. Yeah, I saw the um, I saw it in the credits that like at least two, maybe three of them were his real kids. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, that's cool. Listen, nepotism at its finest. Yeah, okay? sure. Do what you got to do. I just. But after I'm sitting watching, I'm just like, there's a better way. Dare I say, Adam Sandler did it better this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That hurts. That but it's the say. truth. But I also think that this Keenan, this movie was trying to still bring back, like re- 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 reunite the the magic that is what Keenan Kel once was. And I'm like, but that Keenan Kel don't sell no more. Not for me. I think that. <laughs> I want to. I will say. Oh, I'll let you go. No, I was just going to say. I I was going to say. I think that time of comedy has passed, but physical comedy and you know just being stupid comedy will never completely go away. It's just the people change. Like the people who are doing it change. You don't necessarily want to see. Um, you know, slapstick and idiotic comedy yeah. from people I'm talking in the forties. Like that, kind of, I was like, <laughs> sis, if you don't see the tennis racket, shove it up his ass. Like seriously, it, it's like, oh, we, we saw that too. And here you go. And I was like, Argh. like my head about to explode. Like, like the clans were here, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, then they get. Then they gave him laser eyes when you know put put the robot in there and he was fighting homegirl that you didn't like. She get on my I'm like, and why have I seen her more than once this year? She's the new Rebel Wilson. For I mean, me. she do got like three movies out. Yeah, she she got three movies out at the same time. And I feel that, and I, I don't want to see her in either one of them. I didn't mind her, Candy King Lane. Like, Peppa Pig. She was annoying. Now, just annoying. Yeah. I will say though, know, as far as like Candy, you know, like. They, they they try to recreate the magic that once was, but also you gotta imagine this is like their first time working professionally in yes. a long time. And also they're still trying to do like sitcom style comedy where sitcoms are not necessarily a thing anymore. That's true. Yeah. So That's- it's like you know, cause cause they were to get a little bit, but not in this capacity in over like twenty years. So it's just. I agree with that. It it may take a bit to gel and get it back together. Yeah. But that does not change the movie itself. Like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah no. Like just the plots and the things. Like he said, the, the plunger and the ice cream machine and the. Oh. Just oh, yeah, nah. little stuff. That <laughs> I, whole just, scene where he was talking they, about all the stuff they, he could be, and I was just like, we could have cut left this on the cutting room floor. See. No, okay, I'm not gonna lie though. Cause I don't. How you feel about Ed? Is how I feel about Alec. Uh, uh, what's Alec? Ed too. That's how I felt about Ed too. I was just everything he said. I was like, all right. Oh, his son. <laughs> Same. Yes. And I'm like, y'all come on. The, the funniest line that he said for me is, "Uh, who's that? Uh, Shakespeare." He's like, "Shakespeare's been dead for forty years." Like that's the only thing he said that I laughed at. Everything else, I'm just like, all right. I just, no offense to Alex. He, he was okay, but like, oh, his character was just not needed. They just wanted to have like a, a younger... I don't think you know. Ed needed a family. Yeah, it was kind of... That was just so... That, that was so that, Especially since it was just some random lady. Yeah. If it was one son, maybe. But it, it was like, oh, God, do you see the comedy that this stupid guy can have all these kids and have I, his house and his money? It's like... Nah. I I told you at the beginning. I told you at the beginning Ed gets it. It gets it. Yeah, and yeah, I, I, I just should have, yeah, no, it wasn't, it bothered me, okay, <laughs> it, 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 went my, it went made my skin crawl, I was ready to spoil, this oh, has, look, I understand, it doesn't have to be for me, but my son saw it, he was not a fan of it, and he's the one that still watches these Nickelodeon shows.